The writing is on the wall for BCCI President N. Srinivasan and it has come from none other than the Supreme Court. The Apex Court has suggested that former Indian Captain Sunil Gavaskar should now replace N. Srinivasan as the BCCI Interim President till the final order in this case is passed. After hearing all the arguments today in the court, the Supreme Court also proposed that Chennai Super Kings and Rajasthan Royals should not be part of the coming up uh, IPL season. Supreme Court will pass an interim order on the IPL spot fixing and betting scandal tomorrow. It has asked for the BCCI's response, but it has also uh, it is also indicated that it will pass three interim orders by tomorrow regardless of their response. All right, uh, incredible day for Indian cricket administration today, but it has also spilled on to the field. This is not just about Srinivasan uh, and who heads the BCCI, even the Indian cricket captain's name has been brought up in the Supreme Court. And now there's a direct uh, question over his captaincy because he too is an India Cements uh, employee. Can he continue? Should he continue? Can this be allowed to go on anymore? Uh, I have uh, India Today Associate Editor Kunal Pradhan, Senior Journalist Pradeep Magazine and Indian off uh, former Indian offspinner Nikhil Chopra with me in the studio. Mm -hmm. Before that, let's cut across to the phone line with Consulting Editor Borya Majumdar. Uh, Borya, uh, it's an overall uh, a querying of the pitch for Indian cricket on the field and off the field today. Absolutely, and this happened because of the defiance. Because you, know, you, continue, you continue to defy and the Supreme Court has escalated it even further. So that is what we were saying, that you continue to defy the Supreme Court at your own peril. And now the Supreme Court is in no mood to relent. And this whole Chennai to Supreme Court India has anger that is now coming. You know, as... as uh, <coughs> I can tell you, there are multiple employees of India Cement involved with BCCI in some shape or form. Take the Indian team, you have Satish, who's the manager, is an India Cement employee. RN Baba, India Cement employee. And several people, if you just go down that rank, you will see there are multiple, multiple India Cement employees associated with Indian ticket. That is how the control happens. Now, the Supreme Court has struck at the root of that control. I was having a conversation with Jagdhan Dalia two minutes back. And I said, will you all keep quiet or will you all open up? Now everybody, and I can tell you on record, Mr. Dalmia will also demand a special general meeting, just like Nirendran Shadi. So that is what is happening now. People in the rank and file of the BCCI now realize that the writing is on the wall. They realize that Srinivasan has to go, and if they don't go with the Supreme Court and go ahead with the cleanup, the Supreme Court might even go ahead and order fresh elections, completely ruining this cozy club and system, as we call it. It's a historic day in the annals of Indian cricket. That's right. Uh, Borea Majumdar, they're uh, setting it in perspective. Uh, Kunal, let me come to you first. Uh, before we talk about what happens to Srinivasan, the way the BCCI has behaved so far, even after Tuesday's uh, observations by the Supreme Court, and who should take over next and can Gavaskar do it? Uh, I want to ask about the Indian captain. Because actually, as fans, that's who we care about first. The Indian team, which is in Dhaka now, it's going to play a match tomorrow against Bangladesh. Their uh, progression into the semi-final depends on it. Uh, can the Indian captain now ignore what is happening here in Delhi and go on and play the match in Dhaka? Uh, Shivani, I think it's uh, going to be very difficult for him to do that. I think it's really unfortunate for Indian cricket when the captain's name starts getting bandied about in the Supreme Court with allegations of corruption and allegations of giving false representations. It is, it is not a day that an Indian fan had thought they would see. But you know, the links with Dhoni and Srinivasan and India Simens have been spoken about ad nauseum over the last two years. Yeah. And people have chosen to ignore them at their own peril. And you know, I don't think the Supreme Court directive, I, I don't know the details, but from what I can gather, I don't think they stretch to players in the Indian team. I think it's only about people who are members of but the board. But what we just... But it is an interesting question to No, raise. but what Borea Majumdar also yeah. told us is that there's a verdict yeah. where the court had pronounced that BCCI is Indian cricket team and Indian cricket team is BCCI. Yeah. So it becomes a BCCI position. The I mean, I'm saying, you know, legally, I don't know how this will play out. I mm. don't know the details. I mean, mm. this is all conjecture that we're all putting together, looking at past mm. observations and past rulings. Uh, I don't know if it if it extends to that. If it does or not, we'll come to know soon enough. But morally, it's a, should he come down no, the thing the pitch? Is that, see, it's a difficult question whether he should morally come down on the pitch or not. I think, you know, we should have examined this, the moral implication of him being a member of India's events a long time ago. But the media did. It's just that no, we didn't have just, any say in what the BCCI see, would think, choose I to react on it. I think the problem is that, you know, the BCCI, the problem in the BCCI is not one individual. Mm. Right now, the problem is N. Srinivasan mm. and this, this, you know, this house of cards that he has created, which makes us all believe that the BCCI is this very professional, smart organization that knows exactly what it's doing. But actually, it's all games being played inside, part mm. games. 
And the thing is that Srinivasan is a is a problem now. A few years ago, the problem was Dalit Modi. Mm. Before that, the problem was Jagmohan Dalmia. The problem is that BCCI is run in a manner that promotes ad hocism, that promotes dictatorship, that promotes people who are able to fix the votes and then do whatever they like and make you know money for themselves, for their friends, etc., etc., and all that. It is a cozy we don't club. even know. It's no a very cozy club. club whoever whoever's club it is. So the problem is that Srinivasan's ouster should not be the end of the problems in the BCCI, which is what the BCCI will try to do. That's what they always do. You know, moment they realize that, you know, this hand is bad, they cut it and throw it away and grow another one. All right.